when I went into uni and did PE teaching, people standing up in front of a class would sometimes be a bit like, oh, this is quite daunting. Whereas I thought, I've already done this, I've done this uh, a million times by this point um, because I'd been given those opportunities. <laughs> five years now actually I've sort of been um, alongside active schools and it started in when I was a pupil at Holy Cross High School um, in sixth year I got the opportunity to do the sports leader program I got the chance to do my level one and two football um, different leadership programs rugby and um, netball we did a range of sports so it wasn't just sort of one thing um, a range of different things and then that led me to um, go into primary schools and doing a bit of coaching um, my main activity is dance, so I was really sort of enthusiastic to get involved a bit more with that. Active schools have managed to push dance so much within primaries and secondaries. Um, they, they've actually started running an, uh, an active schools dance competition, so um, that's held in South Lanarkshire every year. <laughs> kids that come up with their own stuff as well. They're actually giving kids the chance to take leadership and um, come up with their own stuff and enter into this competition. It's getting girls more active because it's something they want to do. It's not football, it's not basketball, it's something that they can actually relate to. Not just girls, I mean boys even getting them involved. So it's, it's really good. It's a good opportunity for them. It was actually an active schools coordinator that said to me, do you know, I think you should be a PE teacher. <laughs> so um, I, it was something I'd thought about. I don't know if I needed that extra little nudge to say this is something that you can do. So after that, I was still coaching um, and decided to do the postgrad in PE teaching. And a lot of people say, oh, volunteering, you know, it's, it takes a lot out of your, your time and you're not getting paid for it. But the thing is, it does pay off eventually because you do it for so long, you do you get rewards, especially when you look back at your CV and you've got all these different courses that you've been on and at the time it's like you're doing so much but you look back and you know people that I have when I was going to apply for one of the jobs in active schools for the Fit for Schools coach, um, you know they said you're going to have absolutely no problem with all, all this work you've got, all this extracurricular stuff and it helps as well if they've seen that you've given the time to volunteer. Mm -hmm.